Holy shit. LSD is fuck. LSD is fuck. LSD is fuck. Alright guys, so um just a quick little announcement before we start this video. Um we all went back to school. Cam here's got two jobs and is stacking mad hours of work. Yeah. So obviously we're not gonna be able to put out a lot of videos, but obviously we're gonna try our best to get as much out as we can. Like we said, two a week maybe. Two a week maybe. I'm gonna try and get a new phone that records better video. So like if we're doing something dumb, I'll just quickly film it and use yeah. YouTube uploaders, some, something like that. But fucking stop and shop. Anyway, we're here at stop and shop. I'm thirsty. I'm gonna yeah. grab a monster. Then we're going to. Uh, show you some daily welded diff action and uh, why you should do it. Alex from uh, What Monsters Do. The uh, Ankies. Follow me on Instagram. Links will be in the description. So, on a scale of one to 10, how much do you like this Lexus? Oh, uh, we'll say like a nine. I mean, if it was boosted, obviously it'd be like a 20 But it's a 10. 2J, so it has to be a nine. Yeah, it's a, it's a 2J. It's a 2J. Okay. Um, we're gonna pull out of this parking spot. Try to put my seatbelt on because you know safety first. Um, obviously welded diff, so I'm gonna. This is probably as bad as it's ever gonna be. Backing out of a spot. And it's honestly not compared to like 240 welded diffs. It's not even that. It's bad. not even that bad, but like. When you're doing regular speed, it's you beautiful. don't notice it. Yeah. Like, for example, we'll just take this turn, like, stupid tight. Like, that's it. You get a little bit of, like, a little bit of hop. Here, but see, we're going around this bigger turn. Not Wheels that. turn, you don't feel shit. Like, the, the E36, dude, was horrible welded diff. That thing hopped feel. everywhere. I mean, yeah, but mainly because this is on stock suspension, you don't feel the hop a lot. Yeah. For, I bet you if you put stiff ass yeah. fucking coils on, you'll feel it. For people on coils, you're gonna feel the hop a lot. But oh, for, yeah. Just for this video, just we're trying to make this video for everybody. So if you are on coilovers, just take that into mind. You're gonna get a little bit more hop than yeah. we are, just because we're on uh, stock suspension. So the stock suspension is just absorbing the hops a little bit better. But yeah. like when you're when you just kind of like turn around like this, it's not bad. You don't feel the welded dish at yeah. all. It felt. It feels the same exact as when you got it, but the only difference right now is that it's welded. Yeah. Like, and you hear the the You can hear the hopping, bit, but only, it feels the same. Only when you're going like under two miles an hour though. Yeah. Like we'll take this corner here. This is the wide corner too, ready? Nothing. I didn't, I heard a little- a Little like, hop. A little, little, little hop, one, yeah, but yeah. You really don't notice if, yeah. you're, if you're not really doing tight corners like this corner right here is pretty big so we'll go around it we're doing 35 and nothing you absolutely don't feel the welded diff whatsoever yeah so it's a daily a nice daily but uh, you can also drift it like a champion since exactly. it's welded so best of both worlds gonna do a circle around me with a welded diff yeah we're gonna see how bad it is how bad the hop is oh. This is gonna be absolute worst case scenario. I'm gonna try the tightest circle. case scenario that's because full cut yeah wheel. fully cut tightest circle and as you can see it really doesn't disrupt yeah. anything and another misconception that a lot of people have is that you're gonna chew through tires like immediately that is not the case I mean obviously if you're doing burnouts and drifts you're gonna fucking chew yeah. through your tires but if you're driving your welded diff on the street as a daily and you're just dailying it yeah I mean, yeah, tires are gonna wear out a little bit quicker than usual, but they're not nowhere, gonna die. Nowhere yeah. near as fast as burnouts or drifts. Yeah, they're not gonna die like everyone says yeah. they will. Just wanna show you that really quick. That's just how big the wheel, <laughs> wheel is. Rocking the 285s in the front. But we're here in Mexico, and uh, look at all these skid marks. All the skid marks we've left in Mexico. Everywhere. 
There's more up there, but we can't show you that. Another thing, um, we do have a new project car brewing, or we're trying to get one at least. Yeah. And uh, we're trying to make room in the garage, so the Talon is for sale if anybody wants to buy that thing. Uh, hit me up on email, haggardgarage at yahoo.com. Try and be local. It does run and drive, so if you want to come from somewhere far, you can drive it home if you want. That's a little risky, but yeah. it does run and drive. It's clean title. Sure. So if anyone wants to pick up the Talon for dirt cheap, message me on email. It's got 100 Forty thousand on it, something somewhere in the one forty. And the stock turbo absolutely screams. That, yeah, that thing. The tires are shot right now, though. I think it's got a full turbo back exhaust yep. and just the eBay boost gauge. That's yep. it. It's auto. You could do mad brake boost dig yep. launches. So, let me know if anyone wants that. Like I said, we're trying to get a new project car for you guys. Everyone's gonna have a good time. Yep. I know you guys are gonna love it. And. Uh, and the new by it. the way, the new shirts are in, so go pick oh, yeah, today. Dude. You gotta pick up your fucking LSD as fuck shirt. There dude. you go, right there. Look at that. Right there. Look at that. You check them out at uh, Planet Printing. Strange Planet Printing. We'll have a link in the description, guys. Yes, sir.